Hello and welcome. Decision theory. And let's take all the payoff and regret criteria in one case. This is a decision problem and payoff table of it. There are three strategies that means alternatives or actions and three possible states of nature. See the signs are S and P. S is used for strategies instead of A for alternative. Please be prepared for these kind of changes in the format of the question. But these are alternatives or strategies, these are states of nature. And in case of payoff, we have four direct payoff criteria. The first is Maximax payoff criteria. For that purpose, we need to find out the highest criteria of all the strategies or alternatives. That means maximum payoff of all strategies or alternatives. In case of S1, the maximum is 3500. In case of S2, maximum is 2500. And in case of S3, the maximum is 1500. Actually, there is nothing like maximum or minimum. All the three are same. Maxi max. Maximum of the maximum. We have selected the maximum payoff of all the strategies. Now, out of which we need to select the maximum. And that is 3500. And the corresponding strategy S1 is suggested. So, the decision maker should go for strategy 1. Another criteria in case of payoff is maxi min. Payoff criteria. Maxi min, maximum of the minimum. This is called optimistic criterion where we want everything at its maximum. This is somewhat pessimistic. We want maximum, but minimum is possible. This is our assumption. Yes, in case of S1, the minimum is 750. In case of S2, minimum is 500. And in case of S3, minimum is 1500. There is nothing like minimum or maximum in case of S3. Maximum, maximum of these minimum. So, 1500 is the maximum out of all minimum possible. And the corresponding strategy is S3. That means it is advisable for the decision maker to select S3, strategy S3. Now, number 3 is Horvick. Or or which or or wish principle and alpha is given to be 0.45. In case of or which, we just need to consider maximum as well as minimum payoff out of all strategies. All other payoffs are or all other payoff of all the strategies are to be ignored. Only maximum and minimum. The formula is alpha into maximum payoff plus 1 minus alpha into minimum payoff. For all the strategies, we need to find out this. And that will be 0.45 into maximum plus 0.55 into minimum. For S1, it will be 0.45 into maximum 3500 plus 0.55 into minimum 750 and the result will be 1987.5. For strategy S2, it will be 0.45 into maximum 2500 plus 0.55 into minimum 500 
and the result will be 1400 and for the strategy S3 0.45 into maximum that is 1500 plus 0.55 into minimum that is also 1500 so that will be 1500 out of which we need to select the highest one yes That means in this case the decision maker should select strategy S1 if the decision maker is going to apply the Horvick or Horvish or Horvich principle. And in case of the direct payoff criterion the last number 4 is Laplace or Laplace principle in which we need to find out the mean payoff of all the strategies mean payoff or average for S1 it will be 3500 plus 1500 plus 750 divided by number of strategies 3 it will be 5750 divided by 3 so it will be 1900 17 approximately if we ignore the decimal values yes for S2 it will be 2500 plus 2250 plus 500 divided by number of states of nature 3 it will be 5250 divided by 3 so 1750 is the mean or average payoff of strategy S2 and for S3 it will be 1500 plus 1500 plus 1500 divided by 3 so it will be 4500 divided by 3 1500 from these three also the decision maker should select the highest one and the corresponding strategy should be selected so if the decision maker is going to use this criteria this principle strategy S1 should be selected so these four are the direct payoff criteria now we are going to discuss the regret criteria for this payoff matrix regret criteria first of all we need to prepare a regret table but we are going to prepare regret table in this table itself this is the payoff data in case of payoff data we need to select the highest payoff of the state of nature and then subtract all the payoffs of that state of nature from that highest one in case of state of nature P1 the highest is 3500 all this should be subtracted from 3500 3500 minus 3500 0 3500 minus 2500 means 1000 and 3500 minus 1500 means 2000 a regret or opportunity loss can never be 0 and in case of payoff table the Opportunity loss or regret with the highest payoff of the state of nature will be 0. In case of P2, the state of nature P2, the highest is 2250. So everything should be subtracted from 2250. 2250 minus 1500 is 750. 2250 minus 2250 is 0. 2250 minus 1500 is 750. In case of state of nature P3, the highest is 1500. So all will be subtracted from 1500. 1500 minus 750 equals to 750. 1500 minus 500 equals to 1000. And 1500 minus 1500 is 0. Thus, opportunity loss or regret can never be negative. Now, there are two regret criteria in case of payoff data. First is mini-min regret, regret or opportunity.
opportunity loss criteria. Strategy and minimum regret or minimum opportunity loss. There are two names, regret or opportunity loss. Mini min, minimum of the minimum. So first we are going to select minimum of all the strategies but not zero. In case of S1, minimum is 750. In case of S2, the minimum is 1000. In case of S3, the minimum is 750. Mini min, minimum out of minimum. So there are two 750. So the decision maker has two choices, strategy S1 and S3 to be selected. Number two is mini max, regret or opportunity loss criteria. Mini max, minimum of the maximum. So for all strategies, we need to select or find out maximum regret. In case of S1, which is maximum, it is 750. In case of S2, maximum is 1000. And in case of S3, maximum is 2000. Minimax, minimum of the maximum. That is 750 and the corresponding strategy is S1. So in this case, or if the decision maker is going to use minimax regret criterion, then the decision maker should select the strategy as one. So all the six payoff and regret criteria in one case we have already discussed. That's it. Thank you very much.